So what makes MRI so useful um, uh, for people with uh, MS? Um, and that is that we can see these um, changes, these lesions as we call them, as we've heard from uh, Sandra before, in the spinal cord here, this light, as we call them, hyperintensities, and in, in the brain. And that is a very, very common uh, finding. So, in fact, virtually everybody who um, <coughs> has microsclerosis uh, does show uh, these um, changes. And um, we have another phenomenon that's uh, been mentioned before. That is, um, when we get, uh, give a, a contrast, uh, contrast dye, that uh, some of these lesions are so-called enhancing. They are uh, particularly active, and we know this from <coughs> studies that have actually compared um, post-mortem uh, findings in a histological section uh, with um, the only briefly previously uh, acquired scan. So we know that uh, inflammation and the breakdown of the so-called blood-brain barrier um, leads to this enhancement. And it's ex extremely helpful, um, for example, for diagnosis. And I can see you all dozing off because it's so, so <laughs> complex. Um, <coughs> but I can tell you it's um, very helpful for the uh, diagnosis. And therefore, I've summarized this, that it does help <laughs> a great deal <laughs> in making a diagnosis. It's also very handy uh, or helpful in monitoring um, clinical trials and really virtually any trial you, um, you look at has used MRI as a monitoring tool. Um, this is just one graph showing the findings um, in the Natalizumab or Tai Sabri trial showing this curve here going up. This is the placebo uh, group and these are the two uh, treatment groups at the time. Of, uh, with Tysabri, this is a number of new lesions, and we can see here this uh, very uh, strong effect of Tysabri on this MRI measure. So it's a very uh, helpful uh, tool in uh, that. It's also helpful for differential diagnosis, or in this specific um, uh, 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 in, uh, case, in monitoring a certain condition or certain treatment. Um, and I'm sure, uh, uh, I think you get a whole lecture about uh, this topic this afternoon but, um, um, by, by Ben Turner. But these uh, large uh, lesions are um, the um, <coughs> dreaded lesions of progressive multifocal brick encephalopathy um, that can occur in various conditions, but as well on uh, treatment with um, naturalizumab. <coughs> 